funny diagram. Okay, and we had applications, okay, they don't take like that. And six strikes, one, two, three. Okay? We got our first strike here, okay? One. I'm blocking with the midpoint of my stick. Number two. Okay, you notice? I know everyone knows this forward here. I'm blocking with the midpoint of my stick. Three. Four. Five top. Six thrusts. Okay? Six strikes. Okay, again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay? Easy enough, right? Head, head, leg, leg, drop down. Okay, so I'm going to start going here. Good. Okay, you notice? He's firm. Okay? Two. Three. Four. Now, we're going to do this, but before we do that, we're going to draw some shapes, okay? So if you've been training for well enough, good, okay? I'm going to draw my triangle. Because my tip is pointing up here, I'm going to start up here, okay? I'm going to draw the triangle down, okay? So this is my backhand. I'm training myself forehand, okay? And then finish with an O, right there. Okay, so again, up, so down, over, finish, okay? Lower extremity, okay, okay. because my tip is pointing down here, I'm going to strike up, over, and I can take a step back, finish my triangle, okay, so again, down, up, over, down, okay, you can chamber up here, or you can chamber down here, just back, okay, let's, um, let's stand up, and let's just practice trying to find, okay, one, two, three, please be step with my left four, let's go, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. So as you're doing this, I want you to think of three things. Okay. So three keys. Okay. Three keys. Um, position, placement, precision. Okay. You can do this all day in front of a mirror. But if you're not in the right position, you can't have the right placement, right? From the right placement, are you going to have the position, okay? So three Ps. Let's go. Okay? Bottom extremity. My right foot is forward. I'm going to strike up now, okay? Because my blocking stick is down, I'm going to strike up. One, two, down. Three. Okay? This might be different, okay? So, block, strike up. Two, and then down. Okay, so up, blade edge, two, blade edge, three, blade, okay, one, two, three, okay, on your own, let's go, okay, try to practice this, okay, okay. so strike up, to the side, down, okay, finish that inverted triangle, anyone, blade edge, okay, let's go, one, two, three, one, Two, three, one, two to the head, three to the leg, four, and then it's easy, five to the top of the head, and then six, okay, usually I like to follow through with the footwork, but again, you don't want to hit each other, okay, first, okay, so one, okay, two, three, four, Five and six. Okay, last one. One, two. Um, variation I like to show. Maybe it's not familiar to you. Okay, so throw uh, in here. Just give me a backhand. Okay, give me backhand. Okay, cross. Okay, first off, can someone tell me the danger zone? Like, where should I be standing with my students? How far? Any long, ball baskets. Stick away. What's, what's the question? Hey, what's the danger? Where, where is my, where's my boundary? You can touch your hand with a stick and exactly. Okay, so the danger zone, okay, not so much here, but when we get to this position here, I'm going to break his nail, right? I'm going to hit his thumb. Okay. Quick as his arm, so you hit a hand, and then you're good, right? Right, so back hand, starting back here, thrust, and then you get it. Okay. Maybe some of you are familiar with this. But I'm coming in, you notice how I'm zoning here, okay? So I'm already one stick away, I'm coming in here, he's gonna come in, I'm in close position. I took three small steps, okay? So again, one, two, three, okay? Now, I'm dragging myself.
up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hand on top of the stick. I'm going to grab the wrist. Some of these have entries here. I like to go over here. Pull back the stick. You're already in position for this position, right? So again, one, two, three. Over. I'm in this position. Pull back, and I'm in this position right here. Take down. You notice? I only step once. Okay, and then angle to my right. Okay, so again, again, bar, close, on top, here, pull back, here. Okay, and when you're in this position, we're not gonna fall like this, unfortunately, because we don't have space. Okay, we're gonna sit down nicely. Okay, so from here, you notice I'm at a right angle. My stick is, my hand is always controlling the wrist. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna put my hand against his forearm, and that's it. Okay? I'm not going to do this because he's going to wiggle out and then game's over. Okay? Party's over. Okay? So again, one more time. Okay? Back. Get close. Okay? On top. Pull back. Take down. No. And a close run. Okay? Serrado and close being spanked. Close. Arbieto Serrado, I suppose you could call it as well, but we'll just stick with it. Make sense? So, first thing I'm going to do is going to spy your... Uh, Where's my boot? Oh, it's right back in there. Again, he's making that contact. It's no good him hitting me here in the air. I mean, there has to be a jeopardy for failure. It doesn't have to hurt me. But if I'm going to do is going to spy your. Where's my boot? Oh, it's right back in there. Again, he's making that contact. It's no good him hitting me here in the air. I mean, there has to be a jeopardy for failure. It doesn't have to hurt me. But if I don't move, or my technique is wrong, or anything like that, I get hit and there's a consequence for my failure. Okay? This is like when we do with boxing or with MMA. He comes in with an angle one, and I move it here. Now notice this is a strong cross position. I don't want him to tilt it, and I don't want him to pull it through too much at this stage. I need this to lock that strike down first and take the sting out of his tail. As I come through, this hand is going to do the C clamp. I come through to here, I'm just going to strike the one and strike the two. That's all we're going to finish with. Keep it nice and simple. Come through again. One, one, two. Now, one of the things you'll notice, can I go with your stick a second? If I play with a longer stick, as I move here, when I have to then use that stroke and I have to move backwards to get the full length of my weapon. If I can move from here, now I have these puños, do all of this stuff from there. With the shorter weapon, as I move inside, well, notice I've still got full stroke of the weapon at all times. So there's a slight tactical advantage to it, which is why I'm crashing inside. I can still play the long game from here. But I gain as much by being inside as I do on the outside because of the length of my weapon. Does that make sense? I do have some shorter sticks, so if anyone wants to play with them, grab one to play with this with the first blow through. We'll work it from there. Position. Three, one, one, two. Finish there. That's all I want you to go to. Make sense? Up and go to it. She's fine. We do actually throw this one. But what I want you to do, and this is the important part, as it comes in, that's going to hit you. As it comes in, so I'm moving the boat. So straight away, I've kind of taken a little bit of line off. As it comes in, this stops the pressure. You see that? Comes from something. So he's giving me all the juicy details and all the love and all the joy he has. And I'm basically going, <laughs> <laughs> So we have a fist bump. <laughs> we can open that one, that's a winner at seminars. <laughs> <laughs> so as it's coming in, I'm arresting that motion, smashing right through, and again, coming back to what we do at the beginning, I'm set to my one. As I strike my one, it comes in my two. I could strike my one, come down here to my foot. It sets to where I need to be. Does that make sense? So I'm going to give 30 more seconds on this and make sure you're getting this bit. One here, then. Carve a new one. Okay, 30 seconds go. Okay. I pass it and I hit on the back right here. Strike and walk me down. Okay. The important thing is, as I go here, I hit this seizes. Because this stops him coming back. If he then goes to do a low one shot on me here, I can 
can turn that into the robot control piece. Again, it's not a, every style has their, their idiosyncrasies. And one of the things I always get shouted at for is, grip, good grip! <laughs> and he scares me when he shouts at me, like my teacher can't be wrong. Here, you just touch it, there's no grip there. You see straight away he's dropping, and I can move it, but I'm making life very difficult for myself. As it comes in, bam, seize it, then smash it again, lock. Lock doesn't mean in the conventional sense. You think of Sarad as a door, <coughs> it's open. I close the door, and once you close the door, what do you do? You lock it, so it doesn't open again. Make sense? Leaving this in place and coming here, you're going to give yourself a knock knock. <laughs> <laughs> also, the big disadvantage if I keep a hold as I hit, if Ernest just pulls back, I end up blocking my knee off as well. So, as I pass, it's literally just like, get the smeg out of there. As it comes in, now I'm hitting, now I'm checking here, then I strike again. Lock that. Make sense? Mm. Everything's symbolic. Even if I'm grabbing, I'm still symbolic. With me? Yes, I'm good, sir. Good, sir. Now, my passive cut, I cut, I cut, I strike, and I cut. With me? So that's why this checking hand is so important. And notice why when you're keeping it on, it doesn't make sense when you put the blade in the other hand. Because then I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> With me? So as we come through, I do this inside cut from here as well. Yeah? So if you always think of this as being a blade or free to deploy a blade, it should remind you to keep moving backwards and forwards. Equally, if I do come outside line here, and I want to give him a good shot into the lungs. I'm not going to go <laughs> in, back. Make it count. Okay? Make it count, guys. You don't want to come back at you. Lock the door. You just latch it or you push it. Okay, 30 more seconds. Go. Hit here. And I seize it. This is actually a smash. This is boom. In, in there. So if I'm applying this actually under pressure, whack! That's where we're going from here. You see where I am here? Does this position look familiar? Because this is a step for that angle map. Remember I said every strike takes you to another strike. So what? Yeah, good. Slow your roll turbo. <laughs> so as I'm here, if that two is coming back in, I can block it, or I can nine and check again. Guess what? And I'll have to check where I want to do in the first place. So this is why the first thing I teach the guys is the angles. Because one goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to five, to a six, to a seven, to an eight, to a nine, to a 10, 11, 12. So the idea is knowing where I end up. Because I don't know where I'm going to be. When you're actually fighting and you're swinging this stuff around, first one and I go, where am I up here? Where am I now? Set for four. Where am I now? Five. Up well, here there's one to an eight. So you never know where you're going to be, but if you're just used to safe and through the angles, and sometimes we play the dice game or roll two dice, that's what you're going to go for. Like that, like that. Like that. It's good. But realistic, what have I got? Open side strike, close side strike. Open high, I'm oh, sorry, close high, close low. Open high, open low. The rest is making great. Make sense? So, from here, one, check, two, finish. One, here. So rather than, this is basic, it's good stuff, it still works. I'm striking now. This is strike, this is strike, check. And watch the feet. One, two, three, four, five. Go 
come here now, watch the feet, watch the nuts. So very, very slowly, I'm going to a one. The second this meets, I'm not going, ha! Have some of that. That's a different flow. The second I'm feeling this hit coming in, I'm turning it. Again, full length of the weapon. Where's the power at? Right there. What's he eating? Right there. Okay, so then this comes in for a secondary shot and also a check now. I take my knee out of the way, little head shot, big head shot. Back with the knee for the spin down. And two headshots in one block. You good. <laughs> and you didn't know I was after a shot. <laughs> yes, but it will never fly again. Oh, he's never sexy. Make sense? Yes, like, oh, 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 oh. Basically, the same. You know, I'm not going to go, this we absolutely don't <laughs> But the idea is I'm turning it here. Make sense? And all that. Thank you. Same thing. So I don't have to make a fundamental shift between my empty handed. Do you have to spread my beads across your pockets, don't you? <laughs> I totally deserve that. <laughs> okay. So I don't have to make a massive shift, I just have to be cognizant of my range and my ability to deliver. Um, strikes back, does that make sense? So, I'm going to me. Okay, that's the base one I want you to do. Basic inside line. So, well, where's that coming in a real fight? Have faith, kids. Okay, go. Um, let's give me a jab. Okay, it comes in here. Bam, one. See that lock? Same thing. So as I come here, this we did with the stick. Now it takes on now it takes on the significance. So that move, bam, one, that's a lot down here. Well I can come over, or I can come under. I can even go. Ha ha! Whack! I'm one of those again. Let's go in here. It doesn't matter. I haven't changed what I'm doing. Move that. Outside line, right line. So that looks familiar, outside. Okay, now I'm moving here, that's my hit here, bam, that's a look down there. All close. One, two, three, four. So all these angles I'm only doing are there. Make sense? So let's give a good one. One, two. Three. From here, four. You don't like him? <laughs> really don't like him? <laughs> One more time. The Jiu Jitsu plays against this. <laughs> Questions? You saw that Somali from a back and four. So if we do that same one from a four and a back low, we do it over here with a four and a back low, we're going to insert a poke and a check. So obviously be careful when you check your partner's hand. We're just going to step through it, okay? So we're going to smash each other on. Three, four, pull and check. Okay, so we'll just get that far with your partner to start, but I'll show you the whole flow. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and pull and check and hit the next time. And then Prasada, Prasada, I'm gonna crash that, hit him, pass that, hit him here. He's gonna pull that down. I'm gonna jam that, punch him, and then we'll go back to the flow. One, two, three, four, pull, check, pass. Okay, so actually we'll have to pass in. So we'll go high, low, high, low. Pull, check, pass. So I'm not staying there for the pass, I'm moving my feet. So you block with your feet, you strike with your feet. 
I hit, and I'm over here. I can finish the game right there, obviously, right? You can peel this out, strip, enter, take all that stuff straight, right there, too. We're not gonna go. So from the one and two, we're gonna go high, low, high, low, poke. And when we poke, let's poke outside the shoulder for safety. Go in here, check. So I'm turning on the check, I'm ready and loaded. It hits me in the head, I'm just gonna step out of the way, okay? Let's go that far. Is that in your way? Not a worry. Check. You could do backhand on it. You could do his backhand check and go on the interior line. He's going here and we're just closing it, right? So let's stay in an outside line for now. Okay, so off that check here, like I was saying, it feeds, I can move and go on this line here, right? Or go here, here. Go ahead, and I cut it short, and I'm right there. All right, so then he feeds again, I'm gonna use the same stick. So I'm using my left stick, he hits again, and I insert the cassadas. Okay, he hits again, I insert the cassada, and I release, and we go back to the small. So it's poke, check, pass, cassada, or it's poke, check, pass, 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 you get lost, right? You need to throw in the cassadas there. You can do two of them. You can insert your brush stroke with teeth right there. That's fine. But we'll go poke, check, pass, cassada, cassada, restart the job. So all we're adding in is those cassadas. Check, pass, cassada, and you throw, belly, bicep, tricep, from artery. All those targets are cool. Okay, so. Play with that, just add in. So, the Wally drill, super basic, right? High, low, high, low. Thrust line, check, move on the pass, pass, and cut. So, flow cut, flow cut, re engage. One, two, three, four, pull, check, pass, prasada. So, you can kind of bait him into that too. So, you're over here, he wants to hit you, right? Okay, go ahead. Hit the knee, angle back. So if I brush stroke, hit, and I come right here, I'm gonna eat something bad. So brush stroke, let's eat, angle out, which activates that side. I pass and flow cut. Now, he's gonna follow my stick on that and put his chamber, your stick under your left arm. This one over here. So right under left, so we'll do that again. So from the strike, I'm gonna with T, knee feeds me, come over here, that. Now your right hand's gonna follow and go into your left. Just to shield for that. Oh, man. Okay? If it's not there, we're hitting him in the head, which is what we're gonna do anyway, right? So we're here, there, pass, flow cut once, twice, brush stroke, with T, knee strike. Pass, he follows that through, and I back him. To expand one more step, he's already in there for the interior roll. Left hand pulls down my left hand, interior roll. I stop that, I do an uppercut to his chin, which he doesn't want, so rotate it to armbar. He rotates into armbar. I don't want that, I dust off, and we continue again from the start. Three, four, poke, check, Pass, prasada, twice, brush stroke, with team. Take the knee, beats the left, follow my stick, to there. If you're there, we'll add in this other bit. If you're not, just go to the backhand. Pulls me down, left to left, interior roll, interior roll. Uppercut, arm bar, rolls in, I brush him off, and I feed and start again. Okay, one more time, I got it? One more time, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five is your poke. Six, pass, crusada, crusada, brush stroke, with teeth. That's going to move them that way, right? Follow that to the knee, pass that, backhand to his head. He pulls me down, left to left, right to right. Step into the uppercut and swings up to the armbar. My five sticks under my arm here. I'm 
I'm not just going to push you off. I'm going to step away, monitor, and start again. Okay, we'll come around, I'll help you. <laughs> One, two, three, we're all kind of done, something like that. Okay, so if we're doing that, some places I can do my center pull press. I'm smashing in the face, hand, hand change, fatigue, knee, corsage, hit, draw, punch, and we're back through with that. So on that one, you just easily go into that workout, or if you feed it wide, then you're going to get six So if you get lost, you get stuck going into that four-count small, you can go to the back, put yourself back into the six-count. So the hand change happens on the overhead 12. Center pull, you're going to smash his knuckles there, and I'm also going to crash and smash him in there, right? So I release with my right, and with T with the left, Hit his knees now, it's naturally he's either going to kick or he's going to punch me. We're going to take off the punch to repeat the drill. Here, close me down, jam that, move into the uppercut. Right here, I dust on, change back, feet wide, and we're there. So it's overhead, one match with one, my backhand four, he does a drop stick and goes back overhead. I jam it, hit, move, pass, check. Jam, uppercut, pull it off, feet wide. So again, we're going to strike, through, one, drop stick. I repeat that, overhead. Get to a good spot here, excuse me. Drop stick. So let's start there, and then we'll add in that full hand change bit, which you already know very well, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice okay. more likely. I don't know if you can very well either. Uh, <laughs> overhead strike comes in, I'm zoning and feeding. Excuse Any me. one of those is finished, right? But it's a, sprint, it's a flow drill, right? So we're flowing together. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six. I move in on him. I'm not going to stop and try and do this stuff back here. It's not effective and you're going to get hurt. So as he does that, I'm moving, I hit. Switch hand. Switching hands. So I'm releasing with my right. And hitting right there with that with teeth. Now I'm not just gonna do this, I'm gonna do that new bottom and top straight there. Every chamber and he catches that, just pulls that down. I jam and I do that uppercut right there. He doesn't want that, so he moves into an arm bar. Okay, my stick's under my arm, I move away. I grab, come around, and we're back there. Here, here. Move in, and I would see. I hit his knees, making him move back. Stops his motions for a fraction. I hit, he pulls me down, I jam. I uppercut right there. Now, here's a good reason. I'm hooked in there, that's why I'm not just going to try and push him on. I'll use my feet to move, right? Not just your strength. Okay, so here, here, here. Move in and release. Hit, hit. Watch, punch, come here, I'm going to use that. That's why we're angled out, okay? Simple carry, back hand to the head, interior roll, uppercut, move away, and restart the drill. Okay, walk through it. Let's go slow. Um, let's go through the rigid. But there might be some of these around purchase if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these. It's Kind of like the Kubaton or the Karamit, but uh, it's a nice tool because you can open your hand with it and articulate that way. So you can see all that wrist up action, locks in there, strikes in there, strikes, hooks, carry bodies, everything's inside with this tool. It's a great little training aid. Okay, so if you take a look at that uh, Sombrata drill, open hand, so obviously he's not going to do this, he's going to do this instead. Okay, so if he punches me to my face, I feed that and go away, right? right? So, if he stops that, I'm just going to circle and hook. I can pass that and use the little handle on here to hook in and do a rear throw. Come into that arm bar, gas him, take those ribs out, pop the top off his lung, all those good things. So from that last, we'll still do a prostata. I'm going to feed that there, sir, and he's going to catch that, and he's going to, from that catch, he's going to eat that, right? I can fold, I can hit behind the head, I can feed him, and throw. Palace suits right there as well. 
all from that same drill. So if we flow through it for a second, so we can smooth the punch. Here, here, just out of that. And through, right? So wherever I am, I can find these little pickups. They're all inside there, right? All these little locks and flows. So again, that on the back of the hand, it's just a pain operation or a pain enforcer. And so he's going to move on the pain. No lock is permanent, right? So you just walk away from all these locks and you have to re-engage. So one of our core concepts of NSI is adhesion. So once I've made adhesion, I don't want to disengage from it, right? Who knows what he's carrying, how many other tools he's got, what's he going to deploy. So go ahead over uh, straight blast. So from that straight blast to that hit, I can do this pass, or now I can just take and think about that insert in now right here. So that little notch on the back of the elbow there. So that nerve point, now he's eating knee, how it suits you there as I rake that through to phase dislocation or stomp, right? All those bad things. So from this, let's go one, two, roll that elbow, back fist, slap, here, elbow, again, so from the punch, prasada, feed that, drop your elbow, back fist, move this hand to get over here. Now one thing that might happen this elbow might be in the wrong position, so you'll just have to reposition with your rolling of your long step. Okay? So from that punch here, I'm loading that. So if he hits me, right, so we're not here, I'm right here, so it's a tendon load, loading right off that. Hard to pick that up. Okay? I can slip, and then I've got a lock, and I've got to throw right there. Okay? So all that stuff's inside there. So from the punch, feed, Elbow compresses, hammer fist here. I wouldn't recommend going back fist to someone's teeth or forehead. You're going to break something. Throw this away. Step. Arm bar. Feed the knee. You don't have to go to the throw. You can just go to that place. <coughs> One more time. So here, load. Compress. I'm still monitoring this. I'm not holding on to it. Hammer. This could be a pen. Right? It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a child wrench. It could be your cell phone or your water bottle. So it's here, load that hit. Compress, hit. Throw away, roll, check your sticks. Okay? Let's see if we can get that far. Thanks, Ted. So that's going to spiral that wrist so we soon prepare for the part, especially if they got it. Where's my. If you got a death grip on this, you're going to probably break your wrist. So work and flow with your partner. Be a good partner. Be a, be a good. So here, capture that. Snap right there. I can continue through my baseball swing. And that's wrist, elbow, shoulder, drawn. Okay? So it's a holy response here. Pop right through. I'll quickly show the interior lines. Just the opposite hand on that. So I'm here. I capture what I call top shelf and my hand. And there's that throw right there. So just watch the grip pull, torque in that wrist on that, okay? So first one, outside line, move into it, capture, rotate through, okay? It's just like standing center lock, okay? Inside line, rotate in, capture, drop, okay? All right, go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.
for a long time. So it will go to your hand. It will slide to your hand. If you, uh, you block like this, it slides to your hand. So that it will not slide to your hand, you do like this. There. So that it will not slide to your hand. And strike as you step up. And this art. You know? So if you don't step up, he will stop you. If you there, see? He will stop you if you don't step up. But if you step up, you're striking his hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this arm there, there are two kinds of this arm. When you hold this, it may be that this arm is by turning his, uh, by bending his wrist, like that, or using his thumb, peel off his thumb, no? Peel off his thumb to this arm. Two kinds of this arm. The first one is bending the wrist, and the second one is peeling off his thumb like that peeling off his thumb there when you disarm there again you have to step to the side and strike okay you may practice it Yeah. I twist his hand, hand. I twist his wrist. You sit on the other side? Yes. Yeah, on the other side. Same time. Not like on the other side. Maybe go that way. And then twist this wrist by rubbing it up in this leg and head. going to work on angle one and two. Two angles, okay? So everybody stand up, please. Very simple footwork. We're going to walk, we're going to step, we're going to step here, we're going to step here, and we're going to step back here. That's it. That's all the footwork you're doing. Okay? So, basic position. Now, we don't fight from here. This is only reference to center line. When we fight, we bring our sticks back. We don't have a floor. We never, even when we move from 
closed position to open position. We never extend our stick unless we're striking. Okay? So, basic position. We're gonna, we're gonna exaggerate the body mechanics at first. So we're gonna pull the stick back, and we're gonna go strike one. Our hand goes to our center line. Okay, we don't wanna come past the center line, we wanna go to the center line. Then we're gonna step forward as we retract back to the two, and we're gonna strike again. Okay, step back, pull the stick back to one, one. Step forward, two. Step back, one. Step forward, two. Step back, one. Step forward, two. Everybody have that? Yeah. Pretty, pretty simple, right? Okay, so now we'll do the blocks. So, again, from, from basic position, we go block one, and we feed it back. To the head, always to the head. We step back to two, and we feed it back. Okay, and back to four. Block one. Step back to two. Back to four. Block one. Step back to two. for some of the energy that, that is going for. So one I feed out, okay? Now, when Skyler blocks, he goes here. He doesn't go here. And that's not good if it's a blade, okay? So, but the idea here is that he leaves the, <coughs> the, the um, angle clear to go to my head. Or at least he doesn't put a barrier between him and my head. So one, he comes to my head. Now my guiding is me pushing him, giving him the signal to come back to two. Okay? Now if I want to continue guiding, I'm just going to pull him back to one again. Step up and two. One, I can block. But I'm not, I don't, don't worry about that right now. Two, trust your partner. Put your fist right in my face. One, fist is right in my face. Two. Okay, for the sky will guide. One, two, pulls me back, one, two, simple, okay, everybody got that, yeah. easy, just start playing with that, then look. this is just guiding right now, okay, so, I pull here, 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 right, here, here, you just react, you just react to what I think. Okay, I'm feeding him, he's giving me a reaction. That's it. So, um, we're gonna break, we're gonna go slow for a second. So, boom. Here, boom. Now, we're gonna add three. So, I tell him where to go. I tell him where to go by tapping his hand this way, and feeding under here. I feed the punio or my fist. Okay? So, when the fist is given, he does this. Okay, there. Now I was gonna go in defenders mode when you pull up right now. I slap the stick down, the sand down. I go one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, stay there. So I can carry here, here. Okay. So I'll bring back one, two, three, twelve. Okay, my counting is really bad. I got hit. I lost every other number. Of <laughs> okay, so now I don't want to let. I don't want to make him do it. Skyler, come up here. Because Skyler and I have been getting ready for this uh, seminar. We did. So I wanted to give something small that you guys can play with. So I go one, 
two, three. Now I don't have to block every time, but if I am going to block off this three, I want to keep Skyler safe. I want to lean a bit and get my stick in there. In reality, I would just smash his hand <clears throat> and hit, right? But in training, this is good for me because when I'm coming in here, I'm training. I need my body a little bit to make it. I don't have this is coming quick, right? I got to make extra time so I do it through body motion, right? Here, this is coming quick, so I got to angle. I can't just, yeah, I can't just bring this up, right? I have to angle and get get that block in there. Okay, here. stays on that side and 12 okay so whatever side your tip of your stick is on it stays on that side for this drill now in three here this is if the hands given right if I, I'm a little further out and the stick is given three can be yeah, there, right? so I can come boom here um, it just depends the way it's given, right? And this literally, I, I love this because um, what was the, the when Balintawak was in its heyday in Cebu, the most common weapon of murder, or assassination, whatever, and when all that interclub violence was going on back in the day, was the knife, right? And you look here, I'm, I, this block is designed for dealing with a shorter weapon. Right? So um, that's one of the, the things, right? Like, so if you're used to playing a little longer range, you're going to block here, right? You're going to block here, catch, whatever. Or if you're used to playing a little longer range, you're going to counter strike and get out and do that kind of stuff. Um, Blintwalk just specializes in close range. Um, so that's why I, I, I do practice other systems. Um, I spent a lot of time with Master Swanico. I plan on spending more time with him. 
And um, <coughs> you know, it's, it, not one system has all the answers. Um, one, two, three, 12, and then we're gonna come back to one. Now from here, I'm gonna give you a disarm. I'm not doing it because I, I want you to have this disarm, but I want you to feel a little bit of Balintawar. So I come here, I punch, I bring this, I, I clip the stick in nice and close. I come here, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this in tight, and I'm gonna swing my arm up and bring his hand up. Now again, this is this part is the, the cool part that I like. That, that gives you a little feel for the one. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna hit. So I from here. So this position is crucial to having your right, having your hand there because when I pull, I get a lot more strength than if my hand was here, or even here, or here. When I pull from here, I get a lot of strength. So a lot of it's a this movement is conducive to a powerful pull. I don't know. It, it's, it works. Okay. <laughs> there. Two. Maybe I go to three. Maybe I go to ten. Pull them back. Maybe I go to eleven. Here, twelve. Doesn't matter, right? But from here, I drop them down. Punch. Here, 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 here. Okay. We'll do it really slow. So just we need a. Uh, I'm just going to come under, punch, here, okay, bring this back, lift, pull, push. Now, if you want to play with this a little bit, only worry about one at angle one and two. Don't get caught up on angles three and twelve. Um, you can just work it with angle one and two. Keep it. Boom, boom. Make sure you get this in tight. There. And get that there. there. Okay. Everybody got that one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not so much this, but this pull push because that's really something that is true in the lintel walk, right? Like the pull push, command, commanding center line and making people go off your center line. It doesn't always work. So you gotta you gotta have other things in your toolbox. But we're gonna go off of an angle one. Now here when he comes in I'm gonna block I'm gonna clip in tight. So here I'm gonna bring my you guys know this one, right? Bring my punio up onto his wrist. I'm gonna pull him in. I'm gonna twist a little bit and here. Okay? As I turn I'm gonna I'm gonna pull his stick with my alive hand, and I'm just gonna base his wrist onto my forearm. Here, okay? Okay, so if we play a little bit, I can come here, pull it in, here, okay? Now he loves, he loves his nerve, he has nerves that line up with that puño really well. Some of you don't have that, some of you won't. Um, so I like to call it my uh, my uh, um, pressure point technique. I don't I don't have any pressure points techniques, but I always say, oh, I can speak the angle one. If I see grimace, I call it double bladder forty-seven. Means, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, come here. <laughs> so um, I'm laughing at my own joke. Okay, so, so here. When you bring it in, bring it in nice and tight. Okay? Bring that in nice and tight. Okay? If it's taller than you, accident, head butt hair, pull it. Okay? Um, you, guys, you guys have that one? Because you all do one that's similar. So here, I block, I come in here, and I pull this tight. That's right. My pinion comes up here and helps me pull it, actually. And Now, I don't want to turn too much. This Skyler is a jerk. He's going to take my semi-line. Um, 
So you don't want, you want to make sure you don't give too much to your center line when you do that turn. Okay, any Wing Chun players here, Kevin? <laughs> Lots of <laughs> Yeah. Okay, bring it in and I overturn. Pushing you down the road to deliverance. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. That's a crab joke. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis there. So if I here, I push move, come on. Ah! One. I blow this arm, but it's not working. Just roll. To my thumb, I control that thumb in this.
Is either you're going to do a full blast, full control, I mean, a full blast shot, right, follow through, or you're going to wait to come back. It's one of those two shots you're going to get. So I'm here. I'm back here. So from here, one, same thing with uh, Grand Max Number Two, but we're going to go here. So I can come here. He's going to block and pull as my hand. Now, this is where you use your thumb oh. <coughs> for more control. Okay, so then we're going to come up. I'm sorry, we're going to inside. I use my blade, though, or my stick. Casey wants to cut me, so I use it to come out. Now I'm here. Now I need like to the stick right inside. Oh. I got out of the Thank you. <laughs> so one. Now, you could follow through here. This is okay too. Everybody has a different preference, but I like to keep this here. So in case he's trying to cut me, I roll it with me, I'm keeping my guard. Now I'm here, I hit, and he comes over. Nice, I control. Oh. Right. Ah. Okay, if you get slow, check over. I move so I can get out of the way. Just to my sheer side, I'm going to cut it. He stops. Um, push, control, now you got it. You can do whatever you want, you can stand. One more time. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Already. <laughs> um, when, when every time I block, I always want to go towards my opponent, so I get to cut him or whatever. But it's also to make sure I got clearance so I don't get cut. From the side here. So, push this really tight here. Control. I want to control. Okay, any questions? I disarm the strike here, go to the elbow. My favorite one. You can do it. Take down. Then when you do it, take down. This is a break. Side. Fingers down. Just so we can go through this first so everybody's got an understanding how this works. What I'm going to do, just put the stick down. We're just going to go to skip the this arm. We're going to go here, everybody watch. Hit to the rib, go to the elbow. Now watch what I'm doing my thumb. That's all I have to do. I roll. Okay. So a good way to practice, strike the ribs, go to the elbow. I open my hand, so my thumb controls the stick still, just my fingers here. I step to the side, of course, I don't get hit, and I got control. You can come in and double, push, lock, push, control, so you got a lot of different ways how to walk somebody out of there. So again, just practice one, two. See what my hand is? Three, turn. Pull around with it, come around, lock, eyes, knee, inside, control, pull, fingers, control, there's so many, what you want to do, play with it, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so again, just go start off slow so you can understand how to do this arm fire. So you're going to come in, down, fingers roll. Push. Any questions? Yes, <laughs> okay, good. So the same thing from the He's going to come. Do it again. So I'm, I'm coming back here. What I want to work on is, see I use my thumb, same thing here. Oh, control, right? So as I come in here, my thumb, my thumb does the control. So one, Now what I'm going to do inside, as I come here, I cut right away. 
I'm going to come back. I want him to stop me. I roll. Now he just cuts himself. Controlling it because they're going to try to stop me from this out of course. One. Simple. Any questions? Sure. And we're having this fight. Who's going to stab who? So he's going to try to stab me. I'm going to go right underneath my armpit. Oh, oh now I got control. Okay. So we're working on it. We're trying to stab. So I'm going to resist. This and push is harder. So now I'm going right underneath my armpit. Oh, now I'm here. Now the control. See, I use my arm. Both sides here now. Nice. To lock, throw, whatever, push ball. So, so we're here. So we're fighting. Thrusts to try to stab me. I go right in the arm. Hold it tight, elbow tight. Behind the elbow, I'm going to push my knife to the ground. Stop. Here, you open it up. Slide your hand. Now you got control. On the side here. What are you doing on that knife? Well, <laughs> Can you do that again from the other side, please? Yeah, you bet. So as he's thrusting underneath my armpit, holding it, head butt if you can. I stab, uh, come inside. Now, if you see my hell, I open, uh, separate his arm. I roll inside, push my elbow down. I got control here. Now, from this position, you can do whatever you want. Because if I break his arm here, put that leg out, same thing, everything I have. You now, I could come inside here. Just push my knee back and control with my knee. One more time. So as the knee's thrusting, armpit. Push. Now see I got his arms on both sides. It's like a dance right now, but I'm just showing him. <laughs> so now as I do this, I push my elbow down. Now I got control here. From here, he's going to try to stab me. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Please. Okay, so as he's thrusting, my body pivots, so I have an opening to go underneath my armpit. I keep my head down for head butt. Pull, head butt. Inside, see how I separate the arm. Push, tilt, I got control. I can go right away here. Now I got control here. Okay, let's do it this side one more time. So as I'm coming, Open, tilt to the side so you open a clear opening to your armpit. Head butt, pull. One, see where I'm at here. See where my head stays underneath. Control here. 
Now he has to get out of the way. So move your arms if you can. Nope. Any questions? Is he's coming to stop again? One coming up, pushing up, up here, roll. So the same thing as I come one, I could come under like we did with our practice. Pull, I got my knife here. Or from this position, one, inside. I step, come back, you got control. So as it's here, one. Now I kind of sit down, so I pull him in, so he comes back. That come right out top here. To break in four places, I'll go down. As soon as his body's going down, I'm going up. So it's because not opposite, right? So again, from this position, one, I want to clear this tight. I get my elbow up. On the outside, come up high. And again, I'm fighting in case he wants to punch me. <laughs> so you have one, in, outside, keep it tight, so I want to make sure I'm protecting Casey wants to do anything to me. Right. Now you got a nice bump. This idea right here, though. Mine too. Mine's right here. So you have one, two, right to my elbow, so I don't have to think of how, where to go, I'm just going to go right tight to my body. If he's punching me, I'll take that one in the head, then come back up. Sorry to punish him for doing that. <laughs> then come back. And there's everything I can here. I'm going to hug myself tight. And this is where that break is. Boom. Again. One, two. <coughs> around. And if you can't reach the elbow, go up higher. Uh, see that? Make him do some sound. Push. Now I got control. Push. Okay. I, would, I was going to do some Duma, but we don't want enough room. But one day when we do the two days camp, I'll definitely work on the Duma. So again, one, two, tight. I always hug myself here tight. Set. Point my elbow up so this is here. Come over. Squeeze. Watch my hand. Push the head. Stay tight. Everybody push their hand. Look at that. <laughs> okay, one more time. So we can see how slick. One. Cross block. Come right tight to my elbow, like hugging. So if he's running in to get me, go up. He's soft. Up. Tight. Move. Any questions? Okay, have fun. That's the last one. Across and a jab is really keep this technique really simple. So one and two. I'm going to go inside entry right over here. We're going to knee offset and take him down. Now from this position, he falls in a seated position right over here. I'm going to execute what we call a branch up block right over here. Okay. Now he could fall lying down as well, just like this right here. One more time, so you go cross and jab on inside entry. This is good thing right over here. Alright, same motion you do with the sticks right over here. So when he punches with that right hand, that's my good thing. That's a strike to the head right here. The knee and you offset his body weight. Now all the weight, he's ready to go. Right here. Alright? <laughs> From this position, I'm gonna take him down. He falls down. The knee goes down. One, two. I can lock it up right here. That's the break right here. Alright? So that's a simple technique we're gonna start with. Let's start from this direction right over here. So then you cross and jab. You defend and you destroy the bicep right over here. You strike the face, grab the back of the head, that's a knee. Offset the knee right over here. Then you turn the head, so pull the balance, turn the body, and it goes down. You drop one, two, three. Now, I lock the arm up. Now notice he can move his feet out that way. He can easily get out. So my foot is going to come over right here. And now try moving your feet. That's the lock right here. All right, if the arm is this way, I switch right here. Now oh, that's a branch down lock in that position. Can we try that and you repeat? One more time? One more time, all right. One and two. Strike the head, grab the back of the head. 
knee and offset his body weight. You turn this head into that gap right there, he goes down. One, two, three. You step over, let us come to the rib cage, and that's a lock right here. Okay? I'll give you guys one minute to try that. Alright? Now, if he has a friend who's coming, rushing into me, I'm gonna go right there. This is what he's gonna do right over here. If he ends up on the floor, again, one more time. Go one, two, offset. He goes down, and then this position right over here again. Okay, let's have it. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
do the first one behind, he follows up with a second punch before you get a chance to take him down. Tight cover, you go over and through. That's your hyper extension. Step behind, put the leg. One, two, three, and then you break. Okay? One more time. Okay, that's it. One, two, follows cover. Weave under and through. Hyper extend, step behind, take down. One, two, three, and then break down. That's it. Okay, two minutes. So. Oh. Whoa.